If one of your goals is to get a job as a data scientist in 2025, I have sort of a bad news for you. As per this scientific study, which I'm going to discuss with you, there is only 9% chance that this wish is going to come true. In this video, I'll go over what this specific research says and what are the concrete steps you can take to increase your odds of actually landing a data science job all the way from 9% to 95%. As a data scientist, I love looking into the research studies which are backed by data and see what are some important lessons we can learn from them. This specific study, which I'm going to share with you, is not just done for aspiring data scientist success rate, it is done to see what the success rate generally looks like for new year resolutions. And the results are very surprising. The study shows that on average, only 9% of the people actually attain the goals they have set for the new year resolution. And a big majority, which is 91% of them, or fail at those goals. And it was very interesting to note that 23% of the people even forget and fail at these goals in the very first week of January. And by the end of the first month, 43% people have failed. Now these are very mind boggling statistics and it applies to any long-term goal you have set, even the goal of preparing and landing a job as a data scientist. So if your goal is to prepare and land a job as a data scientist in 2025, according to this study, there's a 91% chance that you'll fail at it. The good thing about this study is that they not only pointed out what the failure or success rate looks like, but they also pointed out that what were the common characteristics of people who actually succeeded. And when we look at this list, the one thing which pops out is the factor of accountability. I think that is the most promising one. To zoom further into it, let's look at another very important study. This research was done by Association of Talent Development, where they have measured that what are the specific common characteristics of people who succeeded long term in achieving their goals. And the good thing is that you can have a look at these factors and implement it in your plan so that you could increase your odds of actually landing a data science job in 2025. So let's look at all these factors one by one. So let's look at this graph. Just by having a goal, your odds of success are just 10%. And there's this 19% chance that you will fail at achieving your goal. So just having an idea of the goal that you want to be a data scientist in 2025 is not enough. Your odds of failure are just way too high if you just have this goal alone. So let's see what the next step you can take to further increase these odds. So the next step is very simple. All you have to do is just make a conscious decision that you have to do this specific thing. And the best way to make that conscious decision is just write the goal that you want to attain this specific goal and why you want to do it. And just by this simple exercise, you can increase your odds all from 10% to 25% of success. So let's move further forward. The next thing you can do is set a deadline for by when you will achieve that goal. Your deadline has to be a specific date. It should not be a vague idea, but a specific date or a month by when you plan to have a data science job. One thing to keep in mind while setting the deadline is that you should be setting it for the goal in the things which are in your control. So instead of having a deadline for by September 2025, I'll have a job as a data scientist. Try to see that how you can change the wording of the goal so that it is something which is in your control. So in that case, the wording could look like, I'll go over these four books, I'll solve these many lead code Python questions and SQL questions, and I'll apply to 1000 jobs before by September 2025. By changing the wording of the goal, to something where you have control over makes it more likely to attain instead of making the goal which is beyond your control for example actually getting a job where things are not fully in your control because it depends on a lot of other external factors so just by setting the deadline you can further increase your odds all the way to 40 percent so now the next step is also very straightforward which is the process of actually having the concrete steps planned on what the step-by-step -step things would be that you would be doing to achieve these goals. Again, going back to the example of learning data science and getting a job, 
your step-by-step -step process could be i have to complete these many books courses other material apply for these many jobs build a resume have it vetted by someone so listing it out using pen and paper what are the step-by-step -step things you have to complete to attain this goal by what deadlines and then having a deadline for each of those goals it further increases your odds of success all the way to 50 percent so if you just do this exercise which is that you have made a very conscious decision of what you want to do why you want to do it by when you will be doing it and having a step-by-step -step plan on not only what you will be doing but also by when you will be doing each of those steps you might just take you one to two hours or maybe four hours to complete you can increase your odds all the way from 10 percent to 50 percent now you have almost a 50 50 chance of success just by doing this two hour exercise but according to this research you can go much further than that so the next step is that you actually announce this goal with someone and commit to them that you will be achieving this goal. It could be a good friend, your parents, your spouse, or maybe some teacher or coach or mentor to whom you could commit that this is the goal. Ideally, all the steps which you have done so far should be in writing and then you share with that accountability partner that this is the exact goal which you are going to achieve. So sharing it with an accountability partner further increases your odds of success to 65%. So now with these steps, you have come from all the way to 10% to, to 65%, which is a huge big step. And the final step which you can take, which will dramatically further increase it, is that of having a recurring meeting with that accountability partner where you'll go over that specific goal. And if you do that, your odds of success go all the way to 95%, which is almost next to certainty. The beauty of this research is that it basically tells you a step-by-step -step process on what are the things if you do, it is almost a guarantee that you'll succeed in achieving your goal. And it's surprising that if you look at these steps, they are very obvious. There is no rocket science to it, but still very, very few people actually take these steps. And if you look closely at these steps, you will find these being done in some of the most successful programs around the world. For example, if you look at the Weight Watchers program, which has a remarkable success rate and some of the difficult to attain long-term goals of weight loss, they're using almost all these steps in a very concrete way. There you have to make a conscious decision of how much weight you are going to lose. You have to take the steps, which is the milestone, by what time you will be losing how much weight and you have to plan the exact concrete steps of what are the diet changes you'll be making. You have an accountability partner assigned and then there is a group meeting with the accountability partner every week. And by using this exact blueprint, they have been able to achieve a success rate, which is very impressive. Now, how can you implement it for your data science journey? I think the first five steps are very straightforward. You can have a sitting with pen, pen and paper and decide what are the concrete steps you have to take to not only cover the syllabus so that you are interview ready, but also plan on having a good resume and applying to 1000 jobs at least. And once you have the task list, then have a deadline associated with all of those. And then as for accountability partners, just pick a friend, share with them your written goal document, and then just set up some time with them every week so that you could see what your progress on that goal is and how far you have come. And if you want to take it one step further, there are some online apps like stick.com, which is S-T-I-C-K-K.com, where you set up a concrete measurable goal and you actually put some money on the line, which keeps you accountable and help you stay on track. I'm also thinking of starting an accountability group where with a selected very few people, we can have a list of things which we'll be covering and we'll be meeting at a weekly basis to see that what the progress is for everyone. And, and if there are any roadblocks or any concerns, we can address those. I'm still not sure when I'll start that, but if this is something you think you'll be interested in, then please let me know in the comments below. And also, if you need the detailed plan on what the roadmap should look like for preparing for data science, what are the things you have to cover from where you should be covering it to cover the most amount of material, which is usually asked in the data science interviews. I've created a free guide for that. The link for that is in the description. And also, if you want a video version of that, check out this video in which I have covered the roadmap on how you can best prepare for data science in the minimal amount of time possible. I'm pretty sure you like it. Thank you so much for watching.